Hi, my name is Emma Phillips and I'm from the Global Facility for Disaster Reduction and Recovery. Today I have with me Cynthia Schaaf from the Carnegie Climate Geoengineering Governance Initiative. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about at Understanding Risk? Solar geoengineering in particular is about intentionally, deliberately manipulating the climate system to reduce some of the impacts of climate change. Um, this conversation is attracting greater attention from scientists and increasingly there is interest in the policy making community as well. Um, and it's very important that risk managers understand that these technologies are being developed and that policymakers are just beginning to look into them, but they need to be part of this conversation too. What do you hope to get out of understanding risk? Um, I think it's very important that this community, the risk community, um, understands that geoengineering is increasingly discussed among the scientific community, um, also a bit with policymakers, and that's what our initiative is trying to do. C2G2 is shifting that conversation from the scientific community into the policymaking sphere. There needs to be international governance in place because they have planetary wide impacts. And currently, the international governance for solar geoengineering is very minimal and very incomplete. So it's extremely important that the risk reduction community get involved in these conversations on how to govern these technologies, and so that humanitarian concerns are incorporated in that international governance. Can you tell us a bit about the controversy around geoengineering? Geoengineering is definitely controversial. Uh, first, I should say that solar geoengineering is only being discussed inside uh, academic institutions and being modeled on computers at this moment. There is no technology that is currently available to deploy, and it would probably be about 20 years until some kind of technology might be ready to deploy. We want to make sure all voices of society are part of this conversation, and that UN and other international processes can bring on board these perspectives from all of society.